Hey, what is going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 15 awesome things that your iPhone can do on iOS 13 and you probably didn't even know about. Now iOS 13 brings a ton of new features and a ton of new abilities to your iPhone. So here are 15 awesome things that your iPhone can do that you didn't know about. The first thing we're talking about is found under the settings app. So go to settings, go to general, go to iPhone storage and here we'll find a list of all your apps and it will show you how much space they're taking on your device. You know that with iOS 13, Apple has added the ability to download files using Safari, the new download manager of Safari. And now you can save those on your iPhone or on the cloud. And if you come right here, now you will find a new section called my iPhone. And right there, you will find all the files, the downloaded files and other files that you have saved on your iPhone locally on the files app. And if you go here, you will be able to, sh to see a list of all the files and the folders that you have. Here are the downloads, here are the other files. And you can of course go ahead and delete any one of these files directly from here. So you don't have to go to the files app. You just come here to the storage and you will be able to delete any of your files directly from here. Voice control is one of the biggest features of iOS 13. It allows you to easily control your iPhone using your voice. Without your hands, just using your voice, you can completely control your iPhone with voice control. That's a really, really cool new feature. But it also offers something more. So if you go to your settings, go to accessibility, and go to voice control, you will have the ability here to, to add custom commands. And here you can basically set like custom gestures. So you go to custom right here, you have to create a new command and of course enter a phrase which you will use to in to basically initiate that gesture so let's just go here a step back and once i have done that i go to action go to run custom gesture let's just hide this and here i will need to draw the gesture i will add just a tab there so that i can can go back on any app so let's just wait for these gestures to show up they will just disappear for like 10 seconds and click save right there go back click save once again and now we're good to go and now i can go ahead and enable voice control and now whenever i say back you can see it will run that gesture and it will of course go back on the app as easy as that you can just create like any gesture you want and of course just use the phrase that you use to create it and you will be good to go you can then run that gesture using that phrase something really really cool on ios 13 is that now you will also have the ability to add shortcuts on the assistive touch menu so if you enable the assistive touch menu on ios 13 now you will have the the option basically to enter any of the siri shortcuts that you have on your device add them right there to the assistive touch menu and then from the assistive touch menu you can run any of your shortcuts this will be very very useful especially if you only like create a shortcut that launches an app and then you can add it here and you can basically then go ahead and just launch any app you want directly from the assistive touch menu so here if i tap right there i can go ahead and run the shortcut right here from the assistive touch menu on the calendar app on iOS 13, if you have like an event set, here I, ha I have one set, I believe I have one here at 15, so you have one set on a date, so you want to move it to another date, all you got to do is just go to the event, tap and hold on it, and then you can just go ahead and move the dates right here, and just go ahead and drag and drop it on another date as easy as that so you can see from the 15th i moved that to the 20th as easy as that you don't have to go like create a new event you can just tap drag it and move it to the other date the notes app on ios 13 got a ton of new features like if you have a list of things like this one and you want to basically put the check mark on one of them that you have completed already you want to move that you can go ahead and just move it right there just swipe right to move that on the field right there and swipe left to bring it back of course any of the items that you have on the list on the notes app can be moved just by swiping right or left on the notes app if you want to add an image to a note you can tap this little camera right there you can scan take a photo or choose one from the library so here if i take a photo i can go ahead and use this one and what i can do here is just force touch on it and make it larger or force touch and make it smaller so 
however you want to have it on the node based on the node that you're doing you can go ahead and make the image here on the node smaller or bigger on the notes app on ios 13 if you have an image that has words on it you can search and find that image by using one of the words that are within that image even though that's not text that's just a picture you can still find it so here i have a note with a quote here this is a picture of course and i can go ahead and just search any of the words here and it will find me this note so let's just use storm right there So you can see if I search for storm, it will find me the image, even though this is not text, this is just an image. On the notes app on iOS 13, you will also have the ability to move folders. So any folder that you have on the notes app can be moved on any other folder. Just go ahead and tap the edit button, then tap the three dots right there, and you will have the ability here to move the folder wherever you want on the other folders. You can use the spotlight search on your iPhone on iOS 13 and older versions as well to convert basically any unit that you want. So here I want to convert dollars to euros. All I gotta do is just tap right there, one dollar. You can see right there, it will immediately show me the suggestions and I can just go ahead, tap right there and it shows me the conversion as easy as that. You can also use the spotlight search to calculate anything you want. You don't have to go to the calculator. You can just basically calculate anything you want here on the spotlight search. As easy as that, you can do your calculations without having to use a calculator app. On the files app on iOS 13, you can easily move any folder that you have. All you gotta do is just 3D touch on the folder and then you will have the option to move it. And then it will give you all the options where you can move it. So if you have like a folder, with stuff saved on the iCloud drive, you want to move it to locally to your iPhone, you can do that from here or vice versa. You will have the options here. So if I tap on my iPhone, it will show me all the other subfolders here and I can choose on whichever one of them I want to move it. I can also tap on any of these you can see and then create a new folder as well. So if I want to create a new one, I can do that from there and then I can move that folder into that new folder. On iOS 13, on the Files app, you can now create nested folders, which means that you can create new folders inside of a folder. So all you gotta do is just go in on the folder, just swipe down like this, and you will see these three dots will appear right there. Tap on them and tap on the new folder, add a name here, tap done, and you're good to go. Now you will be able to have folders within folders on iOS 13. If you go to the settings app and go to accessibility, you will find here motion. If you enable reduce motion, this will disable the animations of your iOS 13 device. Basically, what it does is that it will remove the animations and will add just like this fade animation, but you can see that will appear only when you open and close apps. On the apps here, when I move through the menus, you can see the effect is still the same. But if I enable here crossfade transition, you will see that now you will get a new animation when going in and out of these different menus on any app on iOS 13. On iOS 13, now you will have the ability to save live pictures and turn them into videos. So if you take a live picture and you like how it looks, you want to share it on your social media or somewhere, all you got to do is just use the photos app, the stock photos app, just go to the live photo, tap on the share button, and you will have this button right there that will convert that into a video. On iOS 13 and this one on older versions of iOS as well, you can create custom vibrations for any of your contacts. All you gotta do is just go to your contacts, choose the contact that you want to change its vibration, tap on the edit button and go to the ringtone section. Right here we'll have vibration and you can go ahead and create new vibration right there. Now it will show you this page right here. All you gotta do here is tap and hold to basically create that custom vibration that you want for that specific contact. Click stop once you're done, click save, add a name here, you save it and then go ahead and choose it from the list here. So you will have a list of custom vibrations and of course up there you will find the list of stock vibrations as well. So as easy as that, you can have a custom vibration for a contact so that you know who is calling you without even seeing the screen of your iPhone.
So that's basically it for this video guys, these are 15 awesome things that your iPhone can do that you probably didn't know about. Most of these, I believe like one or two are older, but most of these are new things that have been added to iOS 13. So if you recently updated your device to iOS 13, I hope this will help you have a better experience on your iPhone. So that's basically it. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos. Also, don't forget to leave a like and a comment in this video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys on the next one.